Hey guys, welcome back to Earth Science. This is week two, Thursday. Um, we're going to keep talking about evolution. Let me make sure my mic is, yeah, my mic's good. So we're, we're going to keep talking about evolution. Yesterday we were talking about what, what Lamarck's idea of use and disuse and what was wrong about it. Today I want to talk about the contributions that it made to evolution, right? And out of all of these words, really what the biggest takeaway is this right here that the environment plays a role on shaping what our species look and live like. Um, and then what Lamarck thought was that, was that species got more and more complex and they kept trying to approach an idea of perfection. What Darwin realized is that we actually don't have a goal of perfection. There's just random variation that happens in species, and that variation is sometimes favorable and not favorable. Sometimes the favorable variation is less complex because it conserves energy. So um, it, we really don't have a goal of getting more and more and more complex over time. Now, with what, what this new guy that we're going to talk about is Malthus. He came up with this idea in 19, 1798, this idea of population growth. What he noticed is that the human population have more babies being born every year than we have people dying each year. And so what that does is it makes the human species go through this, this population growth system. Um, I do have a graph of it. Now take from these numbers what you will, but I just want to show you kind of what the graph would look like. And you can see that this is, this is um, for the t past 12,000 years. Let me make sure you can see that. Yeah, I got to move my... Let's just get rid of my video. You guys don't need to see me. There we go. Um, so we saw that that, that like in 10,000 BC and 8,000 BC and then 4,000 BC, you can see the population is slowly growing. And then around like the mid 14th century, we have this really like the skyrocket of growth. And we're getting more and more billions of people each year. In 1987, we have 5 billion. In 1999, we had 6 billion. And now in 2019, 2020, we have about 7.5, 7.8 billion people that live on Earth. And the population is just growing and growing and growing. But the thing you need to realize is that our, our planet doesn't have unlimited resources. We can't just support unlimited amounts of, of humans on this planet. There's going to be a point where we run out of food for everybody and we run out of resources. And then what that's going to happen is there's going to be a correction, right? There's going to be a correction of either people will starve, um, disease, right? Some type of correction that, that will keep the population at a certain, a certain maximum that we call our carrying capacity. And then once this whole correction happens, the death rate will increase and then that death rate will be higher than the birth rate up until we get to a stabilizing point. Um, and then Darwin realized that Malthus's principles were actually visible in nature, right? He saw those in plants and animals. For example, the fish, right? The, a fish, when it lays eggs, it produces like hundreds, hundreds of eggs, but not all of those eggs are able to sur survive, um, survive and produce more offspring, Right? If, that, if that were to happen, if, if every hundred fish were able to survive and produce a hundred more fish, then we'd be overpop overrun by fish and completely overpopulated. So in those cases, more offspring die um, each year than are actually able to survive and become adults. And then this is getting into next tomorrow's lesson. Bye, guys. Have a great day.